I'm sorry if I offended you, but at the end of the day, you're the one that chose to be offended. <laughs> you know what? It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. What? Oh no, she did not. Guys, the day has finally come. The Federal Aviation Administration has officially revoked Trevor Jacobs' pilot's license. As a quick refresher, Trevor Jacob is an action sports athlete and YouTuber who went viral last year for his video titled, I Crashed My Airplane. In the video, Trevor is shown flying his vintage Taylor Craft over the Sierra Nevadas when he experiences what looks to be an engine failure. Trevor then films himself bailing out of the aircraft and parachuting down to safety while his Taylor Craft crashes into the mountains below. Once on the ground, Trevor claims he had no other option but to bail out of the airplane because according to him, there was no suitable place to land. He went on to say that this exact situation is why he always tells pilots to wear a parachute while flying, despite the fact that in his previous flying videos, he's never seen wearing a parachute. I'm over the mountains and I get out of Asia now. I'm just so happy to be alive. I'm just kind of taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I gonna land a freaking plane? I'm gonna die. Trevor's video sparked an outcry in the online aviation community. Many aviation experts and enthusiasts alike found Trevor's story and supposed engine failure rather suspicious. People began pointing out odd things about his video, like the fact that he didn't try to restart the engine or make any emergency calls to air traffic control. It became widely suspected that Trevor had staged the engine failure so that he could purposely crash his airplane for a YouTube video. How far would you go for YouTube views? Would you crash a plane? Would you commit a felony? Huh? If your answer to that question is no, then you're a and a coward. Take it from my man Trevor, who recently possibly crashed his plane on purpose for the sake of a viral YouTube video. This should never be referred to as an accident. This was a crash, intentional and meant for attention. And Mr. Jacob is certainly accomplishing that. I think this incident was staged. It is the most reasonable explanation given the available evidence. It's just, it's all just a little too fishy. I'm one of the people if it smells like shit, it probably is shit. I, I, I don't buy it. That's me, I don't buy it. As many of my subscribers know, I used to work in aviation, so I was really intrigued by this scandal. It combined two worlds that I have a fair amount of experience in, the world of aviation and the world of YouTube. In January, I released a video titled Trevor Jacob, the YouTuber who possibly crashed a plane for views. In this video, not only did I detail the discrepancies in Trevor's plane crash video, but I also took a look at Trevor's YouTube channel as a whole. I discovered that Trevor actually has a history of reckless behavior that he turns into content for his YouTube videos. Trevor's performed dangerous motocross stunts despite not being properly trained, he was arrested for illegally train hopping, and as a minor, he was in a two year long legal battle with US railroad authorities for posting footage online of him and his friends snowboarding over moving freight trains. I came to the conclusion that purposely crashing an airplane for YouTube content wouldn't be out of character for Trevor. Unfortunately, you can no longer find my video on YouTube because a few weeks ago, Trevor falsely flagged it for copyright infringement. I've since submitted a counter notification to YouTube because my video falls under fair use laws. This means I can legally use Trevor's content as long as it's transformative and for the purpose of commentary or critique, which it clearly was. False flagging a video that falls under fair use laws is actually a crime. Hopefully my video will end up being reinstated, but I suspect that the real reason Trevor flagged my video in the first place wasn't because of copyright concerns, but was because he simply didn't like the conclusions I came to. Right now though, Trevor has some bigger things to worry about. 
Recently, the FAA sent him a letter informing him that he must immediately surrender his pilot's license. The letter read, the acting administrator has determined that an emergency exists related to safety in air commerce and that immediate action to revoke your private pilot certificate is required. The FAA went on to say that after reviewing all the available evidence, they've determined that Trevor operated the flight to purposely cause the airplane to crash. That's right, folks. The FAA believes that Trevor staged the entire thing. In my previous video on Trevor Jacob, I wasn't able to definitively say that the plane crash was staged, but now that the proper authorities have investigated the situation and determined that the crash was intentional, I no longer have such restrictions. So I can now say that Trevor Jacob crashed an airplane for YouTube clout. In their letter, the FAA cited several pieces of evidence that led to their final ruling. They wrote Trevor the following. You attached multiple cameras to the outside of November 29508, including a camera pointed in the direction of the propeller in order to record video footage of the outside and inside of the plane during flight. You put on a sport parachute backpack. You opened the left side pilot door before you claimed the engine had failed. You made no attempt to contact air traffic control on the emergency frequency. You made no attempt to restart the engine by increasing the airflow over the propeller. You made no attempt to look for areas to land safely, even though there were multiple areas within gliding range in which you could have made a safe landing. You jumped out of the aircraft while holding a camera attached to a selfie stick and continued to record the aircraft during your descent. After the crash, you removed and then disposed of the wreckage of the aircraft. After the crash, you recovered the cameras that you had attached to the aircraft prior to this flight. The FAA essentially echoed the observations already made by the online aviation community. In fact, there were more things that Trevor did that suggest this crash was intentional that the FAA didn't mention in their letter, which tells me the evidence against Trevor is so overwhelming that they didn't even bother to list it all. They characterized Trevor's actions as careless and reckless and that they endangered the property and life of another. They said in the letter that he's not allowed to reapply for any airman certificate, whether that be a pilot certificate or any other type of airman certificate, for at least a year. I'm hoping he doesn't reapply because as we'll see shortly, Trevor has yet to learn his lesson. In response to the FAA revoking his license in his typical Trevor fashion, he made a YouTube video titled, I Lost My Pilot's License. We live in a pretty rural area, so uh, we're just heading into town to hit the post office. Gotta send in my pilot's license. Unfortunately, it got revoked, so just putting it in the box here, and uh, we'll be landing and sending that off. You're not done flying all together, though? I don't know, man. I mean, the aviation community has been pretty tough on me, so I'm thinking about just quitting altogether and giving up just because I, I'm hated. <laughs> hey, man, I still love you. Thanks, man. <laughs> love you, too. The topic of this video is losing my private pilot's license. Um, so I got a statement in the mail that said, uh, you know, we're ordering an emergency order of, you know, having to give up your pilot's license. And so I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I got the letter in the mail, and then all of a sudden, New York Times posts an article, and that's happening, like, right now. But uh, then, as soon as one person posts it, you know, uh, everyone else is going to jump on it. So I've been reached out to by, like, ABC, NBC, CNN, Fox News, like, all these different people. They're calling my family members. They're calling my friends. They're, like, it's just interesting to see, like, when the news wants to jump on something, like, they all just attack it like flies. I'm on an FBI terrorist watch list now. That's kind of an interesting thing. To all you haters out there or lovers, I made some merch to pay for some attorney fees. And I got like this one that's feeling adventurous always. If you get that one, I got some other ones that I made at adventure.com. Click on the products tab and we'll take care of you. Someone from ABC was like, this is so-and-so from ABC News coming from Washington, D.C. <laughs> like, I don't care where you live. I didn't think that just uh, posting a video of an adventure gone south would... Uh, ruffle so many feathers but just know i got nothing but love for you at the end of the day you're the one that chose to be offended <laughs> you don't need to watch my videos like you're here because you're intrigued by the video or else you wouldn't watch it and i'm not saying that in a disrespectful way it's just the truth it's like you have the freedom to not watch me but 
you're watching me. So like, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're here at the post office, gonna mail in my uh, pilot certificate. The FAA is demanding that I send it back to them. So uh, there's that. I guess it's one less card in my Ridge wallet, but also go to adventure.com, click on the products tab. If you wanna get a always wear your parachute shirt, you can help me pay for attorney fees. You've been good to me. Thank you. We'll see you in 10 months. All right, you guys, so we're just flying back to the farm here. I just want to thank you for being pilot command today. I um, also want to thank everybody watching this for the unconditional support, especially from the aviation community. Uh, I love you guys. I couldn't do this without you. So much love. We'll see you next time. And so before I continue with my commentary, I do need to make a quick disclaimer. Obviously, I don't know Trevor and I don't know what conversations he's having with people or how much responsibility he's actually taking off camera. That being said, the impression I get from his video is that he's taking very little to no responsibility here. In fact, he's doubling down on his story, claiming that it was just an adventure gone south, even though the literal FAA believes he staged the crash. He clearly doesn't understand the seriousness of what he did and instead thinks that the news publications are just looking for a juicy story and that everyone's just hating on him. It really seems like he sees the FAA revoking his pilot's license as just more content he can use for his story time videos. As if intentionally crashing your airplane and then losing your pilot's license is some kind of flex and being on the FBI's watch list just makes you hardcore. As I detailed in my previous video, Trevor's been pulling reckless stunts like this for years. The thing he doesn't realize is that there's a huge difference between a 16 year old snowboarding over moving freight trains and a 28 year old intentionally crashing an airplane and then disposing of the wreckage before anyone can see it. We can perhaps chalk up the former to a kid just being dumb, but the latter is potentially a felony. Luckily, Trevor's stunt caused little damage other than the damage to the aircraft itself, but potentially the crash could have started a forest fire or wreckage could have hit someone on the ground. He should thank his lucky stars that so far at least, his only punishment has been temporarily losing his pilot's license. At the end of his video, Trevor included a screenshot of an email exchange between himself and someone at the FAA. Apparently the FAA has decided that Trevor can reapply for an airman certificate in 10 months rather than him having to wait the full year. Personally, I find this a bit disturbing since Trevor clearly sees the entire situation as a joke, but then again, maybe off camera, he's taking more responsibility for his actions than he is on camera. Regardless, I am petitioning the FAA to make him wait the full year to reapply because the perception he's giving the public at least is that he doesn't take this seriously, which poses a danger in itself. What if some young aspiring YouTuber watches Trevor's plane crash video, a video that has garnered him 2.5 million views and sees that his punishment has basically just been a slap on the wrist? Could we see another YouTuber pull a dangerous stunt like this for the views? I think possibly. I really hope for Trevor's sake, he publicly apologizes for his mistakes, accepts responsibility and does better in the future. I'm not holding my breath though, because it seems he's pretty content basking in all the attention he's receiving, even if most of that attention is overwhelmingly negative. Thanks so much for watching and a huge thank you to my patrons who help make these videos possible. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. If you'd like to follow me on social media, my Instagram is taylor underscore the underscore antibot and my Twitter is the antibot. If you'd like to support this channel financially, my Patreon will be linked in the description and I'll see you all in the next one. Say bye. <laughs>